I wonder sometimes because like yourself, you had a Kundalini experience, which you talk a lot in, in volume one and, and evolving human. Um, and a lot of us haven't, and a lot of people wish they had one. Sometimes I wonder if we're, if consciousness <laughs> awakens because it's time and that right now and at our, at our state, we can't know that. So maybe we wish we, we actually want to live this experience of oppression. And like sometimes I wonder, is it, Maybe we, if consciousness needed to wake up, it would wake up. Sometimes I might not make any sense, but I wonder about that. You know, am I sleep? Yeah. I'm sleeping right now. Is it because I'm not supposed to wake up? Like in the sense, I'm not supposed to have an experience. And the reality is that you want to change incrementally, but people then block their own change because they're afraid, and and rightly so, of what that change might mean. And then that gets reflected and projected out there into the reality. And there's all kinds of suppression out there. Why? Because we're doing it in here. Because we know in the deepest part of ourselves that if there's a big shift in energy, there's a big shift in consciousness, there's a big shift in perception, in meaning, in capacity. And this whole thing that we got going just might not work for us anymore. And that can be seen as a huge threat or it can be seen as a huge benefit. Um, and so I, I think that we're going to come into a time where we're going to be able to plug people in and create a Kundalini experience in them. And, but then I think we'll have support that will nurture them as they go through that shift, that change, that process. Um, that is just absolutely necessary. The support, you have to know that <laughs> what's happening is, is in an intelligent process and it'll be okay, even though it scares the daylights out of you at many points in that process. So in other words, right now, the way we're set up, it would be very difficult for you, Penny, or, and, and the people who have experienced this to be able to handle a worldwide awakening of Kundalini. I mean, we were not ready for that. Like, we're, we're not yeah. ready. Most people, are, you could say that. We, I was talking yesterday about my husband about this. We were both saying, you know, could we actually handle, you know, having... Very good. Because the result of a, a total change, a total awakening of consciousness is chaos. Chaos inside of you. It's chaos in your energy system. Um, it's chaos in your perception. It's chaos in everything. Um, that you need some time, a couple of years, to get through the initial chaos, the initial changes. Uh, you know, that's the idea of, I think we're in a spiritual emergency. I just wrote a paper um, that I'm about to put out um, called Spiritual Emergency in the U.S. and the stages of that. And um, what happens as we go through that? And um, it's a little daunting, but we've put off the changes for what we say 50, 70 years. And now we're having, we're past looking at a crisis or into a spiritual emergency. And spiritual emergency occurs when everything that you were trying to hide behind collapses. Everything. The governance, the finance, the medical, the food, you know, the education, whatever. All of those old systems become dysfunctional and collapse and you have nowhere to hide anymore. And that's such a hard moment. Um, it, that's, a, that's an emergency that then threatens the civilization. And that's right where we're at.